Hey, Sean here from SpeedCoopyView.com. I've got a package from DHL. I don't really know what's inside here. So, I was notified by one company that they were sending me something, but I was also told to not mention anything about it until they told me so, but they told me it is okay. Um, either today or yesterday. So, it might have been today, but either way, I am allowed to talk about this now, so let's check this out. It is what I thought. Okay, so we have the Bell V2. Now, I did a video on this, so I'm going to give that away. But we have a bunch of Chi gear puzzles. I have never used any Chi or any gear puzzles. I've used a couple, like, at a store and just messed with it. Um, but I don't actually have any. So we've got a... I guess Pyraminx one. I don't know if I should call it a Pyraminx. It's just a pyramid shaped. We've got a 3x3 ball. We've got a regular 3x3. Wow, these are warm from being outside. And we've got a cylinder. Okay, a couple things about this. Let's check it out. Um, Raphael puzzles. Do they all say that? They all say Raphael puzzles, I believe it's pronounced. And none of these are stickers. These are all caps, so you're not going to have to worry about these getting lost or, or falling off. Okay, turning. It's not the smoothest right now. It's definitely catching a little bit. Um, the plastic itself feels a little bit smooth. There we go. Now, now we're cooking. I think I just had to move it a little bit. Um... So I have no idea, oh geez, how are you supposed to hold this when you turn? Do I just hold this side? Yeah. I have no idea how to solve one of these. So I'm going, oh geez. So this is going to be my first attempt at solving these. Um, just a review of these right now before I get going with the actual solve. Oh my god. How many turns does this have to be for things to get back to normal? There we go. Definitely the first turns are a little bit blocky, but immediately after that, it's it gets much smoother. This reminds me, it doesn't feel like a 3 by 3 chi kind of puzzle. It feels very, very smooth out of the box. Something that, I don't know, I almost want to say, although I, I don't want to like bring other companies in here, but like... Um, Something like the Yushin Keelan version 2, that sort of, where everything's sort of nice and tight and the, the plastic smooth. Um, is that how, I, do I turn it, like the, the tip of this? Oh, geez, that is crazy. I don't even, oh my god, I feel like I'm going to get so lost with this sort of thing that I don't even know where to start. But I guess there's no time like the present, so... <sighs> time to grab. I'm going to do the three by three. I was going to do the pyraminx, but this actually looks more confusing about how I solve this. Nope, not quite there yet. Yeah, so some of the gears are, you know, the, if you've never used a gear cube, like there's two, I guess, gears or whatever you call them right here, but there's three or five, so things don't always line up. Well, time to scramble. I guess, can I go that far in turn, or do I have to at least get the center lined up? Yeah, I have to get the center lined up. This is pure madness. I don't even know how to start with this. Well, I guess on the plus side, things have lined back up just after a little bit. So let's do maybe 180, no. How far does it have to turn for the center to get back there? So, not 90 degrees. Is it always 180 degrees? It is. You always have to do 180 degree turns, I believe. Because if I do 90, can I? I can't turn at all. So it always has to be 180 degree turns. That's good to know. And you see the corners then are colored blue and green, orange and yellow, white, or sorry, orange and red and white and yellow. So I wonder if I can 
maybe I can get it where all the edges are the same angle. Well, those are, and those are, and okay, they are, they still are the same angle. So that helps. So what if I just spun it randomly to get it into at least a square shape? So like there, there, and then, yeah, this is turning really fast. I haven't had any lube. I don't even think there's, it's lubricated at all, but it feels um, very smooth even without lubrication. Okay, so now that I have this, maybe I can hmm, get the corners lined up. So if I just do this for a little bit, let's see here. There we go. And then here. Oh, this won't do it at all. I need to do this one first. Nope. Ah, oh, okay. What if I did, there we go. Wait, those are like, okay, no, no, no. I was lining up the edges now. So, and now that'll work. There we go. Okay, so I got into a square shape. Corners are lined up. Um, okay, what would be next? So let's see if I do, so it looks like every three turns they they straighten back out. So if I do uh, six, the corners will be back to normal. I wanna see what happens to this blue and white edge and the green and white edge. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. They went to the bottom, so they just went to opposite spots. So I could put this here and that here. Can I do that this way? Good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I didn't have to go backwards. There we go. So now one, two, three, four, five, six. That's still not what I want. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't really know a good a place to go for tutorial. Um, so if you do, let me know. I'm curious on how to solve this. These two, these are gonna be the same, although this definitely looks really cool turning like this. This might be my favorite one for sure, just by how it looks turning it like this. Um, this one's just same thing as three by three. I like these bumps we have here to help hold on to it. Um, this one's kind of hard to turn but man, that is really wacky. So yeah, um, Chi Yi has some gear puzzles coming out. I am super excited to use these. I really have never been excited about using a gear puzzle, but now that I've spent just a little bit of time with this, the fact that it doesn't have stickers and so these aren't gonna fall off, it turns so smoothly. I, I could get into this, like speed solving this, but I'm definitely interested in how to how to actually solve this. I mean, well, what if I did this real quick? One, two, three, four, five, six. Swap those. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Swap those back. Okay, so I solved those two and those two. I'm part way there. Um, oh, let's do, wait. <laughs> one, two, three, four five, six. There we go. I'm getting pretty close just by experimenting with it. Again, sorry, I'm losing track of what I'm doing. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos in the future. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And as always, stop by speedcopyview.com for more news and reviews.